There's a new drug out there, Lemberexan de Vigo, and it's for sleep. And I just wanted to do a little review on the drug, say what I think, how it's working. This drug is an orexan antagonist, hypocretin antagonist. What does that mean? It's a new class of drugs. There's another drug, Belsomra, Suvorexan, which is in the same class. And what it is, orexin keeps you awake and this drug blocks orexin. So it blocks the drug that keeps you awake. There's this peptide that's produced in the lateral hypothalamus, let's say in your brain, central nervous system, puts the, the peptide, the neuropeptide into the system and it keeps you awake. And the theory being this drug blocks orexin or hypocretin and makes you go to sleep. The first one on the market was Belsamra Suvorexan. This one is Davigo, D-A-Y-V-I-G-O, Lemborexant. The Belsamra has not been on the market for a while and it really was not that good. I, I couldn't really say it worked. Um, I took it. I gave it to people. I never had it work once. I never even had anyone feel drowsy from it. So that one was not good. This one, before I give a review on it, it's given at five to 10 milligrams at bedtime. You probably need 10. It has a pretty benign side effect profile. It, it doesn't work in your central nervous system. It works in the periphery, so it doesn't have a lot of cognitive side effects or balance problems. I think addiction potential, although they say it's possible, is extremely low, like almost non-existent. I can't imagine anyone abusing this drug because it doesn't really do much. Side effects could be you're drowsy the next day, you feel tired the next day, you get a headache. It does cause these weird dreams. I've had people complaining of that. Uh, I've had people complaining where... I've never seen it, but I read it, that you lose muscle tone. It's called cataplexy, or you feel pa paralyzed when you're sleeping. Um, it can impair alertness the next day, forgetfulness, amnesia, hallucinations. You could walk and do things funny when you're on it. It can make depression worse. It's been known to maybe increase suicidal thoughts. Extremely rare. Well, here, it, it, I've given it to people. It does make you a little tired. So I'm not like doing backflips over this drug. It works a little bit. Uh, it's got a very, very safe side effect profile. I listed all the side effects, but you don't see them really. But it doesn't really work that great. Kind of gets you maybe a little bit of sleep, but it works better than Belsombra, which was Suvorexant, this one, Lemborexant, it hits two orexin receptors, not one like Belsamra. So I, I would say it works better. I definitely hear from people, it works better. It also costs $297 a month. So the cost benefit and analysis of using it is not that good because you could buy Zolpidem, which is Ambia, Zopaclone, which is Lunesta for like $5. And those work just as well and have about the same side effects. The tried and true drugs like Restoril Temazepam, which are short acting Benzodiazepam, or uh, Dalmain, which is Florazepam. There's also uh, Prosom or even Clonopin can be used for sleep. The drugs are dirt cheap and they work well, they have potential for addiction, and they also may interact with alcohol, but they work great and they're like $5. This one at $300, it doesn't work that great a month. And they say for five milligram tablets, it's 300. So it's probably more for 10 milligrams. It's all right. I'm not really thrilled about this. If I had to give it a score from one to 100, um, I would give Benadryl, uh, which is diphenhydramine, or Sominex is di dicyclamine. I'd give those drugs like a 40. This drug maybe gets a 50 out of 100. So not too good. Don't be rushing to get it. Don't spend $300 on it. I mean, if someone gives you samples, maybe you try it, but otherwise, what's the point? It doesn't work that great. So that's the review on Dave Vigo. Um, 
the excitement factor is really not there. It's, it's a, you know, whatever. Anyway, for more uh, information, you can go to my blog. My blog is where all the work I do goes into the blog, drgresti.com. And you can get my book at uh, amazon.com. Let me show it to you. Tales from the Couch. And I particularly want people to read uh, my first chapter. is based around a real patient. It's a very moving chapter. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye.